The pre-holiday hustle and bustle gains steam with Update 1.3 coming to World of Tanks. It brings changes to personal missions, additional options for vehicle customization, balance changes to familiar maps and one new map for grand battles, as well as buffs of the T-55A and Object 260. Now let's get into the details. The new campaign of personal missions is one of the most recent main events. This is a challenge for all tankers, a chance to show one's worth and receive deserved rewards. But as the statistics and player feedback indicated, the conditions of Operation Excalibur required some polishing. As many as 23 missions of different national formations have been adjusted in Update 1.3, they have become easier. Significant changes were introduced to the first campaign. All platoon missions lost their platoon status. Their conditions were reworked for solo completion. Additionally, you can now track your progress while in battle, just like the new campaign. With Update 1.3, the reward vehicles for the first campaign, the T-55A and Object 260, became more formidable. The turret armor of the German medium tank was improved, similar to the T-54's armor. Dispersion on turret traverse was reduced. The engine power has been increased. The velocity and armor penetration of a standard shell were improved. The aiming time is now less, and the tank gained 50 more hit points. Now it's more convenient to withstand opponents. The Object 260's characteristics were boosted as well. The gun dispersion on turret and hull traverse and when on the move decreased. Additionally, its suppression angles are now minus 6 degrees. The aiming time and reload time were reduced. The turret became sturdier. The hull armor received pinpoint improvements. Slopes in the front projection, previously vulnerable at a certain angle, were removed. The hull roof was changed as well. It became a little thicker for better protection against HE shells, especially against SPG splash damage. By request from the players, the object received 10 more shells. Playing this revamped tank is now more enjoyable, and there are now more reasons to complete the first campaign. For snappy dressers and fans of vivid images, a new section appeared in the exterior menu, decals. You can apply them to Tier 10 vehicles and Tier 8 premium vehicles, except for the unique tanks such as the Defender or Primo Victoria. Four spots on each tank are available for a maximum of two decals for every type of map. You can change the size of decal, flip it, or even shift it in some cases. The work on customization will continue. In future, players will have even more exterior customization options to choose from. Share your feedback on decals on the forum and in the comments section. Let's move on. Update 1.3 introduces a new map for the Grand Battles mode, Hinterland. It features hills with peaks and valleys and a town in the center. The map is inspired by vast spaces of the Soviet country. There are good scouting positions for light tanks to the east of the town. Spotting the enemy positions is also possible from the far right side of the map. Heavy tanks will perform the best in the town. There's a lot of cover and opportunities to their armor. At the same time, pushing through a flank may also require their brute force. Medium tanks can spread out in all directions and support the Allies in key areas. For TDs on both teams, there are many vantage points which they can fire from. This map is vast and varied. Apart from the new map, the new update also changed some familiar places. Additional cover was added at the end of the ascent to the castle from the upper base. It will allow for more efficient fighting in this area. The decorative flora close to the nearby fountain was removed for the same reason. It wasn't used for concealment and only hampered the shooting. 
An embankment appeared next to the house in the tank alley. Players will be able to hide their most vulnerable spots of the hull behind it. It will be safer to fire from here. A building near the railway has shifted to the side. The route for the upper base team is now safer. An additional cover for convenient shooting appeared. Regarding the Fisherman's Bay map, the vehicles of both teams now can roll down to the town without fear. By changing the terrain relief and adding new cover, we have prevented early spotting. Defensive positions in the town suburbs were improved for both teams. Lines of fire from the map center are now closed, and players can focus on the urban combat. New buildings in the eastern part of Central Village were added. They will let players move from this area to the town more safely and cover the initial routes of both teams at the beginning of the battle. The field flora that allowed for stealthy shooting from both sides was removed. The cover near the upper and lower base will become good support for an attacking team in this area. On the Pilsen map, buildings were added that will serve as temporary cover when attacking the TD positions from the direction of the hangars. The positions of the embankments in the smaller hangar on the upper base side were corrected. A house was added and a lowland was removed near the balcony for TDs of the upper base team to balance this position with a similar one on the opposite side of the map. The position of the coal piles was slightly changed to reduce the number of shoot-throughs from the direction of central hangar. The positions of bushes and metal pipes along the lane were changed to balance the chances of both teams in this area. The angle of the hill slope was changed to reduce the possibility of shooting at the vehicles moving between the small and large hangars. On Mannerheim Line, the position on the balcony for the upper team was improved. Now they are less exposed to fire from the map's center. The pillbox was removed to make the route to the balcony for the upper team more convenient. The intermediate defensive position nearby was improved. The terrain was leveled, the rock became bigger, and bushes were added. Also, the position for controlling the route to the base became more convenient. That's all for now. Remember that many enjoyable surprises await you in this pre-holiday period. Take part in all activities and good luck on the battlefield.